Yeah, when you're first starting a business, you're going to be working 15 hours a day. You're going to be doing everything yourself. But eventually, there'll be a point where you need to start duplicating and making carbon copies of yourself and extracting yourself out of the business and have other people do all the tasks that require that are required to run the business. So you're not doing them. That way you free up your time and you can focus on extracting more money, getting more sales and growing the business. So otherwise you're going to burn out. So if you can't afford to at first hire a whole bunch of people to do all the tasks in the business, you're going to pick the one that drives you the nuts the most, what exhausts you the most, like maybe it's the virtual assistant, extracting, taking all the emails, copying, pasting emails and phone numbers and setting up appointments. Maybe that really tires you out the most. So you're going to pick that first. You're going to hire someone and they're going to, they're going to take that off your plate and they're going to do that. Then you're going to hire someone to do the next task and then the next task. And as you free up your time and you start having more time to do more sales, then you're going to eventually. Now, if there's an example where uh, you hate sales, then maybe that would be the first thing you, you would do is you would hire someone to do all the selling and you could focus on the other stuff. So I'll give you a perfect example. I had a fitness business where I ran a real brick and mortar fitness studio. And at the first year I was working 15 hours uh, a day for maybe the first two years. And I was doing everything. I was teaching 20 classes a day. I was doing all the advertising, I was making all the videos, I was doing all the marketing, I was doing all the selling, I was doing everything, I was even painting the fucking walls in the studio to make it look nice, like everything was done by me and it was a huge mistake. So after of learning, after two years, I finally started hiring someone to take all over the task of doing all the classes. So I hired trainers and they took, they taught all the classes. That was a huge amount of time that I freed up so I could focus on what? What was most important? Getting sales, sitting in front of customers and selling more memberships, selling more, selling more, selling more, and bringing more money into the business so you can get a cash infusion so you can grow the business. And that way you provide better service to your customers because now you have someone uh, helping out and then you're not so exhausted. Then you, when you have more, as more money comes in, then you hire someone to do the, the, the setting up the appointments. Then you have more money doing the websites. Why the fuck are you making websites and advertising and videos? That should be done for you. You hire someone to do that and you hire someone to do that. And as you delegate all these tasks, you got 20 things that run the business. All that's being done for you. So eventually you've taken yourself out of the business. Everything's automated. Everything's systemized. The business is running itself and now it's passive. It's automated after about three or four years. It's bringing in money. Now what do you do? You sit back and relax and kick back, yeah, maybe, or you take all the resources and all the money that you've now built up and you start a, an, and you put that into a new business and you do all the work yourself. No, you start hiring people and the process repeats itself and that's how you should be growing your business.